So this is a review of the Star Wars The Black Series Clone Commando from the Bad Batch TV series. Uh, managed to pick these two up for a really good price of £15 each from Star Action Figures here in the UK. But I am aware they do ship internationally so it might be your chance to pick up these pretty good looking figures. Although I'm not going to miss the windowless packaging because that was just not a bright idea. So let's get them open and have a look at them outside the box. So here they are, outside the box, and all their Clone Commando goodness. They both come with their DC-17M blasters, their backpacks. They do look really good as a pair. I'm a big fan of not just buying a single clone, because I don't think that ever works out, and I've learnt from that with the 212th and the 332nd clones. They're supposed to be white, but they're kind of off-colour a little bit, and they look more, much more like the 187th clone trooper I think the it's sort of like a sort of a, an ivory pale white instead of the actual clone trooper white which I find a little bit odd and I'm slightly worried that if these are left anywhere near the sun they're just going to go ever so yellow so here's our clone commandos with a phase 2 red clone and as you can see the colour difference is quite phenomenal as far as I'm aware, Clone Commando armor and Phase 2 Reg armor are meant to be exactly the same colour, but these are sort of an pearl white, unlike the normal Clone Trooper. But they do still look very good. And as far as I'm aware, they use the same body as Hunter, um, because in the arms, you can see they've still got the connector peg hole for Hunter's wrist electroblade. So here's Hunter for a comparison. Same height, same body, down to the legs, even the markings. Um, very doubtful you would ever see a Hunter with two clone commandos after the events of the Bad Batch, but nevertheless, they do look quite cool together. And here they are with the Republic Commando Sev figure. Exact same body, <clears throat> just a different paint, um, and a slightly modified DC-17M. And just for fun, Two Clone Commandos with Grand Moff Tarkin. I'm surprised we didn't see that in the series, but I don't think there's a single era of Star Wars where these guys would not look entirely cool. So, onto articulation. Good head swivel up and down. Um, quite decent with the poses. The leg pegs scare me ever so slightly because it just feels like they're going to snap off the inside, wrist rotation, hinge at the wrist, hinge at the arm, elbow swivel, full, ooh, 360 swivel on the shoulder, ball joint in the mid, and ball joints on the thighs, decent ankle, pivot and rocker which makes them quite good for standing on uneven surfaces all in all 10 out of 10 for this figure the paint worries me ever so slightly but they still will look absolutely fantastic in the clone wars or new era empire display and thanks for watching and let me know what other figures you would like to review